apologize to this and here to personalwellness.com and today we're our well-being intelligence moment is going to talk about self-esteem now there's a difference between self-esteem and self-esteem they are different types of self-esteem there are people who have inflated egos and some people are think they don't have an ego but the ego is underlying we all have it and sometimes we don't understand how to manage it or how it's manifesting but when I talk about self-esteem I am talking about a good sense of self-worth sense of self-value I'm valuable I bring skills I bring competencies to the workplace I have something to offer, I can learn and I can be part of a team and I can contribute. Sometimes people struggle with their sense of self and sense of well-being, more so than others in the workplace. And when this is not addressed, it becomes a problem for everyone. As a conflict analyst over the last 26 years, I have seen so many conflict situations that could have been avoided had people just done a little bit of work on themselves and their sense of self-esteem. Some things that you can do to maintain and develop your self-esteem is affirmation. You could do journals too, gratitude journal. What are the things you're grateful for? What are the things that are coming into your life? Who are the people who are pouring into you, um, helping you to develop, see your skills? There are people around us sometimes and they're just there to pick at us. They look at the things that are not going well. And then we're blessed with some people who look at us and say, hey, I love what you have to offer. You bring this skill. And so one of the exercises that I do at work with, uh, with clients, especially when I have groups and I'm working with teams, I get them to start to tell each other what they bring of value to the team. Because sometimes we don't do that. We just go ahead doing work. And, and work is, we spend so much time at work. It is such an important aspect of our life and our well-being that we need to know and have that feedback. And I'm not talking about performance evaluation from your bosses. That has been a point of contention for ever since its inception. And it continues to be a, a, a point of contention for leaders. I see so many leaders struggling. Oh, we have evaluation coming up. We have That is just so silly. But I'm, I will talk about that another time. Today, I'm talking about self-esteem. All of us have had something in our lives that's challenged our sense of self-worth, our ability to believe in ourselves, our vision that we're working towards. And to be able to get over that is very important because not doing that, not getting over it, can now lead to a wound that impacts everything else in your life your future decisions, your future choices, not saying no when you should say no, saying yes to things that are going to be um, not in your best interest. So it's very important to step back and say, what, what do I bring? What do I contribute to my team, to my workplace? How do I add value? And then look at where else would I like to add value? What else would I like to learn? What other skills can I bring? And part of continuous learning is very good for self-esteem. Because when you have low self-esteem, and you probably ask, why is that well-being? You make choices that are not good for you. And that continues to deplete your well-being. So go ahead now and look at your list of things that you value. What are your strengths? What are the things you bring to the workplace? What are the things you are contributing? And then start to talk about how you can improve them. Ask your colleagues, how is this impacting you? I know I have this strength. I know I'm capable of doing this. For instance, I'm 
I'm a talker, right? And so I always have to ask my team, am I talking? Is my talking making sense? Is it clear? Are you understanding my directions? Because I think I'm just talking and, and everybody understanding me. But it's very important to go back and say, what do you understand? What do you not understand? And how can I clarify? What do you need to be able to take action on this? These are very, very important lessons to, uh, to take away in our lives. And this also impacts our self-esteem. I have seen so many conflict situations and so many boss and employee issues, so many uh, challenges that could have not occurred if the parties had dealt with the self-esteem issue. It's all about me. Uh, you know, there's good and bad self-esteem. There is where we have inflated egos. It's all about ourselves. We work. And then there is, that's that's over. <laughs> you know, this, this is not over. This is over inflated egos. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a sense of self-worth, a sense of value, self of confidence in your gifts. So many people walk around unable to execute the gifts that they've been born with. The gifts that they've been given. Lack of opportunity. They don't feel good enough about themselves. They don't feel they have anything to share. And they're hiding themselves from the world. And not giving those gifts and those tools to the world. And that is not okay. Because look around you. Look how much our world is hurting. Look at the wars. Look at the atrocities. We need people to bring their gifts to the world. Whatever you do, whatever you are doing right now is going to be a big game changer in the world. And it may be just for a few people. That's okay. Not all of us are going to touch millions. Millions.